Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Well, hello everyone. I am here to do a beautiful project for you. I'm going to be starting a short wedding series and I'm going to start off with bouquets. So the first bouquet that I'm going to be doing for you will be a floral round wedding bouquet. So let me show you what the supplies are going to be so we can go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with our flowers. I have chosen three different flowers here. I've got here a hydrangea, which is a small little bouquet of hydrangeas. I've got another bouquet here, which is a ranunculus. And of course, I've got some roses. And I picked these colors. I thought they were beautiful. And I think they're going to make a lovely bouquet once I get them together. And I'm going to add some greenery to this. So I chose this beautiful ivy. It's an English ivy. And I chose this frosted leaf, as you can see here. These are the elements that I'm going to be used using to create my round bouquet. I'm probably not gonna use all of the flowers on these uh, little bundles. I'm just gonna use a few here and there, and of course some of this greenery. Now, I did buy these in these little, kind of wrapped up little bouquets. They're kind of pretty much ready to go. You could just put some ribbon on here, and that is it. But I'm gonna show you how you can take this, or if you prefer to buy a bush of flowers, which is probably the most cost effective, or if you choose to use single stems, which will be a little more expensive, but if you wanna go that route, that is perfectly fine, and you will find some beautiful selections that way. And then, of course, you only have to buy what you need. Of course, in bushes and bundles like this, because I have flowers left over, I can use these in other projects. So I chose these only because they're beautiful, but I went to a specific store uh, in a city nearby me, and uh, this is a store where I can find flowers uh, that are inexpensive, and I paid, uh, I think I believe I paid $6.99 for these particular, um, and I think I paid $6.50 for this bush. So let me show you what else I'm going to use to decorate my bouquet. And I've got here some beautiful ribbon, and I also got it at the same store. This is a, uh, let's see, 25 yards on this roll, and I paid like $2.50 for this, and I thought that was a great deal. So you, if you don't have a store where you can go and buy things, you know, they're like a bulky kind of a wholesale prices or, you know, probably inexpensive prices, and try looking on Amazon, even eBay for great deals on ribbons and florals. So here's the ribbon that I'm gonna use. It has a beautiful kind of a little bit of a creamy color and I thought that kind of a, it kind of mimicked the hydrangea. So let me show you right here how that just complements that so well. And I didn't wanna to add too much color to my uh, bouquet. I wanna keep it very bridal, if you will. So I'm choosing this pale sheer ribbon for this all right also for this i chose to pick out this item it's called a uh, this is called like a diamond wrap now they do have a diamond wrap at like a dollar tree but it's a thin one and if you want to use multiple rolls of that and save yourself some money that's fine this particular one cost me eight bucks and also i found this also at a downtown store that i went to when i went shopping for these other items now uh, you can find a roll like this and i took off the wrapping so i really don't know how many yards i have here but i'm going to say at least i have 25 at least but I went to Amazon and I did find this also, and it was also about the same price, like $7.99, $8 and up. So you can go, you can go ahead and check that out and uh, see if you wanna use this product. And you'll see how I'm gonna use it in a little bit. And uh, let's see what else I've got. I've got this little sprays. They're crystal rhinestones. And it's a pack of 12 in there. There we go. This item cost me like $3.50. It wasn't that expensive. Now, $3.50, probably does sound expensive for a little little bits of little sprays like this but it is for a wedding bouquet so I thought it was a well worth the investment because I want this bouquet to look beautiful considering that I'm using full flowers and I want to make my arrangement or bouquet look as beautiful as possible uh, in my own inventory I happen to have some tools and I happen to have one in somewhere here that's like a yeah here we go kind of a bit of an off-white now you don't necessarily going to be using tools some people prefer not to uh, I've heard people say oh I don't like tool in my in my arrangement because I feel like it cheapens it but if you use it correctly and don't use too much I think it will add some elegance and some wisp 
I'm gonna say whisper <laughs> to your bouquet. Now, we don't have to use that, like I said. Okay, in addition to these uh, rhinestone sprays, I also want to use some pearl sprays. So I've got here uh, some in my little box here of goodies got some goodies in there lots of little sprays I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I've got this one already here that's got kind of open so I'm gonna go ahead and use these pearl sprays so this is something else that you can also look for these are also inexpensive it depends on the package and how many you buy and what you're gonna do with it now if you plan on doing other decorations for a, a wedding of course a nice big packet works well because you can use it for all the bouquets that everyone is holding, you can use it on the corsages, even on the table decorations. So that is a good deal to do. Now I've got a little butterfly here that I also found in my box, and I'm not sure I want to use it, but I think it's so pretty. It's just a little like tool covered or nylon. It's like a nylon uh, wrapped around it. Um, I think it's missing something here in the center, so I'm gonna dig into my rhinestone box and put something in there. And I think I may add it into my arrangement. I think it looks really pretty. I do have another product that I'd like to use, and it's these pins right here. It is a six pack, and uh, the only thing is that because I'm using a little bit of gold, but then the diamond wrap I think will mimic that really well. So don't be afraid to mix a little silver and gold. But these are just little pins, and these can go pinned into your arrangements or corsages, you know, wherever you want to place them. So this is what it looks like. It's a long pin, and I think I'm gonna put those in my bouquet. We will see once we get it all done and see how that will look. Okay, let me talk about the tools that we're going to need. We're gonna need wire cutters. <laughs> I forgot for a minute what that was. We're gonna need some scissors. We're going to need some little needle nose pliers. We are going to be needing floral tape or green tape, whatever you wanna call it. This is a floral tape. This is what it looks like. It comes in green, it comes in white. It all depends on what you're going, what do you want to use? I've seen it in a darker green. I think I've seen it in a, like a brown, or did I say brown already? Uh, I think it was reddish or something like that that I've seen it in, oh, I said white. But anyway, these, this is the color that I chose to use, but you're gonna need, and if you're gonna get some, be doing this, I suggest you get yourself a brand new roll of floral tape because you're gonna be using a lot of it. I have a little bit on this little roll, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that up. I'm gonna be using some floral wire. You can use 22 gauge or a 24 gauge wire, and I'm also going to be using my hot glue gun and of course some a glue stick so i've got plenty of glue sticks over here that is just to do the, some little touch-ups here and there and also because some of the times these flowers come off so we want to add a little bit of glue to make sure they don't end up popping out of the bouquets i've already had uh some of these roses falling out so i was gluing some of them okay so that's what we're going to be using and uh, go ahead and get all your supplies together and let's go ahead and make this beautiful floral round wedding bouquet all right, by the way, this item that I showed you was $6.99. I don't think I mentioned the price on that. I thought that was a really good deal. Uh, I found some other ones that were a lower price, and I'll be using those for another bouquet that I'll be doing. So I'll show you that when we get to that next week. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare all my flowers by, you know, un unwiring them. I think this, is, this has wire, so I'm going to be using... If you had them on a bush, you start cutting off all your stems and cut them at the longest... Point because you never know if you're gonna need them to be short or long in this case because I'm creating a round bouquet I'm gonna want all my stems to be the same length so all I'm doing right now is just unwrapping them so that I can see how many flowers I have and how many I actually want to use okay and of course I always end up sometimes not using everything I prepare or I end up having to use a little bit more because I didn't prepare enough so we will go along and then we'll see what we'll need. Okay, I'm gonna be taking off all these tags. I think I took them off of this one already. Yes, I did. I went ahead and I checked and yes, I did pay $6.99 for each of these little bundles, which I think is a great deal because I'm not gonna be using all of them. All right, and my English Ivy, take off the tag as well. Uh, the only reason that I'm making sure that I take off the tag um, is because I don't want to accidentally like grab have a flower and that has a tag on there and then I'm putting it on together in the bouquet and it's not that oh I don't want them to know how much I paid for it or anything it well yeah that too but um, 
you don't really want a price tag hanging off of a bouquet. Okay, especially when you're, you're using faux flowers and you're trying to make it look as elegant as you can because, you know, they're faux flowers. Okay, this has separate uh, stems here with the uh, greenery. So I'm going to go ahead and use this greenery because I feel like it coordinates just fine with it. So I'm just going to use maybe three of them. And I'm going to choose three flowers. And I like this one. And I'm going to choose a couple that are just a little bit smaller. So those two. And I'm kind of torn on these right now, but I'm going to go ahead and put them aside. And I'm going to go ahead and put all these others also out of the way. If you want to tie them back, go right ahead. Use a little ribbon or a little rubber band to do so. Okay, so I'm going to use three of those. I feel like I want to use four of the roses. And they're all the same size, so I'm just going to pick four of those. And my hydrangea, I want three. So there we go. I've chosen my flowers. And I'm going to prepare all my flowers. And because these already have kind of like a rubber covering to them, which is kind of nice. I'm not sure if I really like it. Uh, inside is a wire. You could, you know, fiddle with it, try to pull this out and try to pull out the wire out of it. But I think it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and keep them on there because sometimes when you're using even fresh flowers, they do have a thick stem. So we're going to go ahead and go with that and see how this kind of slides right out. Okay, so because I don't want them to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here on the little uh, end here and then push that in to make sure that gets glued and then just let that dry. I have another one here that's loose. So again, I want to put some glue not only on the outside but on the inside so that I can poke this in there and then bring that little rubber part over and covering that up. Let's see, this one's okay. This one I need to fix. So that's what you're going to do is just make sure that all your flowers are stable and they're not going to come off the stems. All right, so now I'm preparing my greenery and I'm cutting off uh, some stems off of this bush. And uh, what I like to do is I usually just like to cut them all off because I never know exactly what I'm going to use. And that way I can just quickly grab and not worry about this big, big stem here at the bottom. So I'm just cutting them all off at their lowest point or the closest point to this big uh, stem part because I want as much length from them and then I can just decide if I need to cut them. So that's what I'm doing as I'm cutting all this up. All right. And I know that I want to use a couple of these long bits. And I know that I want to use all the bits that are nice and short. So I'm going to get that. I think I'm not going to use that long of a, a piece, but rather I'm going to go with these shorter ones rather than these really long ones. But I do want the uh, shorter bits. So I'm going to put those aside for now. And if I need another one, I'll grab another one of these uh, short length, lengthy ones. All right, so I've got my flowers and my greenery all cut up. So now what I want to do is I want to start preparing some sprays. And to do that, I want to put some ribbon and I want to put some tulle in some of these and on the tulle I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some little pearls and then I might even use these little rhinestones or maybe I will put them straight directly on the flower. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. We're going to start off with our tulle. We're going to need some uh, floral wire. I'm looking for my little paddle. There we go. And we're going to be needing our greenery tape. All right, so I'm going to cut this uh, tool is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five by, let me get it on the 10. I'm going to do a five by five square. And I think I'm going to do about five of these. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out five squares. I'm putting it on the 10 inch mark here. And then going 15 and 20. In case you're wondering, you know, like why I don't have it started at the one over here because that way you can see it here. And I don't think you can really because it's kind of, you know, thin, but that's what I'm cutting. I've got one, two, three, four already. I need one more. I said five, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut five. There we go, I've got five here. Okay, now I'm gonna take these little squares and right at the middle, kind of grab it from the center and just pinch it and then just do this. Little pinches like that. Okay, so now we're gonna take some wire. All right, let's get some wire loosened up here. And we're gonna wrap it 
around the tool like so just wrap it around a couple of times just like that and then we're going to take these needle nose pliers and that's where we're going to tighten it to make sure it doesn't come out and then we're going to get this end here because we don't want that you know flopping around and poking so now i'm just going to go ahead and cut this at about let's see five inches i'm going to cut them at five inches so that's what i'm going to build right here if you can see that right there all right and i make sure that little end is in there so now the next thing i want to do is cover the wire so i'm going to go right at the edge here cover up this little part here this little bit of tool that's got the wire on it just put the wire like that the tape and then just start rolling pull on the tape to release the adhesive always pull on it and then just start rolling it over the wire twisting the little stem pull twist pull oh, i pulled too hard that's okay we can just start back up where we left off and just keep doing this and as i'm also as i'm twisting it i'm also pressing it down by the way so pull to release the adhesive and then just wrap it all the way down okay so i'm going to do five of these so i'm going to go ahead and uh, do that off camera and let me go ahead and tell you the next step right now that we're here i'm not going to finish it all the way down so that i can show you the next step i do want to make sure i got some tape in there to cover that up as you can see right here that's covered up you don't see the wire that's grabbing the tool anymore I'm gonna get one of these little floral sprays you could cover the the white part with green if you wanted to but I'm just gonna put it right up against here and then I'm gonna go ahead and tape it again now you could save yourself some tape and go ahead and just put this little pearl right next to the tool before you start taping it and then just tape them together it's up to you but uh, sometimes it's easier to handle things after they've been wrapped so you could just do all your wrapping and prepare all your little sprays okay so here we go I've done this one and I want to make four more so I'll be back with that okay so here I finished up my five uh, sprays little sprays with a tool and the little pearls now I may decide to use all of them which I think I might and uh, or I may use less or maybe I might have to make it extra but at least I've got five of them already done as my flowers are prepared I put them to the side now I want to make some little bows or little ribbon loops and I've got some wire here I've cut five pieces also and I've cut these wire pieces at 10 inches long and here's my uh, nice beautiful ribbon okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pick a little tail which is about maybe three inches along here and then I'm going to just pinch it right there I've got myself a little bandaid on my finger because I poke myself with a wire so that's just something that you might want to consider <laughs> when you're doing these crafts when you especially when you're working with floral wires get some band a box of band-aids already on the side okay so I'm pinching it and then I'm just twisting it and then I'm going to make another little loop which is about the same length as these as the little tail which is three inches this way so all together it's six inches and then put it together pinch twist make another one on the other side and then pinch and twist now I'll put a link down at the bottom so that you can uh, visit my video on how creating handmade bows I have two of them actually so I'll put uh, two of them there so I'm just gonna make two loops on each side for a total of four loops uh, you could just do two maybe three I'm gonna do go ahead and do four I'm gonna go ahead and snip my ribbon and I'm gonna cut it kind of like at an angle here because I want the end to be angled and then I'll just go ahead and cut this one also at an angle because I don't want that straight blunt cut there okay so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my wire and right the center of the wire more or less put it around the loops here bring it around like that twist and I like to twist the bow because when you twist the bow you're twisting into the bow rather than just twisting the wire and then having a loose you know I don't know what to call that <laughs> And rather than having a loose wire right here and then the ribbon just pulls out so make sure you twist the bow so that it twists um, and makes it nice and tight so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that little end of this tail here there we go and now I've got this and now I want to do five of these and what am I gonna do with this well I'm gonna go ahead and take 
five of these little rhinestone sprays that I showed you, the little bag that I showed you. I took five of these out. Now, on one side, you don't really see the, the rhinestones, um, but on the other side, you do. Okay, so it's up to you if you maybe want to go buy a little bag of rhinestones and then maybe add some on the other side or maybe a little pearl just to cover that up. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that because I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like kind of curve them a little bit. Like there's a flower here. I'll curve it over the flower so that you can see it like that rather than seeing it straight up. And then if the bouquet is being held the other way, you don't see this. So I'm just going to curve them a little bit once I have them on in my bouquet. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and place them right up against my little bow. I'm going to pick them up just a little bit higher because I don't want the ribbon to hide all these beautiful little rhinestones. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. I can go ahead and twist the wire. Uh, from uh, the rhinestone spray around uh, this bow and see and get them all ready like this and then come back and then put all my floral tape on everything so if you want to prepare all of these put them to the side and then prepare these guys and then come back and put all your tape on everything that is up to you but that's kind of like the way that I like to do it because it gives me this feeling of oh look at all I've done rather than doing one item at a time and thinking oh my god look how far much more I have to do I don't know I just it just tricks my mind okay so here we go that is now wrapped in floral wire or floral tape I should say with the rhinestones right here my little bow so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other ones and I will be right back. Okay, so here are my five sprays already completed. I'm gonna go ahead now and put these aside because I want to make now a larger bow with my ribbon. As you can see, if I put them together, it makes quite a big bundle, so I don't want too much more ribbon, but I do want some ribbon to hang off from the, the bottom of my flowers on my round bouquet, so I do want some um, extras here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a length of about four, 14 inches here, about so much, and then just bring it, and then bring it back around, and then just like that, okay? So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there. I'm gonna take some wire, again about oh, 10 inches again, so I need to trim this a little bit, and save this piece for something else. Okay, right somewhere in the middle, twist my ribbon, my bow, and then the wire. And then this is what I have. So now I can choose to go ahead and just trim this off as well. And at this point, if I wanted to use a different ribbon in addition to this, I can go ahead and choose that and add it to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just make it simple and just use that. But I do also want a little bit of a loose, loopy bow, if you will. So I'm gonna choose just a little bit shorter tail, like about maybe halfway or six to eight inches of tail here. And I'm going to pinch and twist just like I did the other bows but this time I'm gonna make some really big loops I want these loops to be like really floppy because I want them to hang down at the bottom of my bouquet so again I'm gonna make about four of them I don't really want to make too much I just want to add a little bit okay that's enough and then this little piece that I cut off I'm gonna go ahead and use that piece of wire uh, you can go ahead and cut another 10 inch piece to do this let me go ahead and trim this also okay now let me just make sure my tails are nice because I kind of trimmed that while it was a little tw twisted <laughs> I'm just cutting it at an angle because that's kind of how I like my ends to be okay so now I'm gonna take this put it onto here twist them together and just to make sure they're nice I'm gonna take some floral tape and tape that up and cover that wire. Oops, tore it off. Let's pull on this here. Pull and press and twist. That's actually pull, twist, and press. Okay, so there we go. I've covered that up. Just pull on it and it tears right off. And finish up that end. I have still some tape there. So just finish it off, twist it all on there. Okay, there we go. Now I've got a nice 
loopy bow and some ribbons that'll hang down at the bottom of my bouquet. So now let's start creating our bouquet. We're gonna need our floral tape. I'm gonna grab, gab, I'm gonna grab one of my um, ranunculus. I like this ranunculus right here. And uh, let's get our roses here. Oops. And we're gonna decide what sprays we wanna put on these. Let's put these little leaves over to the side so they're not in the way. My ranunculus here. Okay, I said bouquet. I meant to say we're gonna start building our sprays, our flower sprays. And now I feel like I should have gotten five roses, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this really nice big one here. And uh, to that, I'm going to attach a stamp that has the pearls and the tulle. And I'm going to just kind of place it right under it. It just depends on how far out do I want it to stick out. And I kind of want it to stick out about so much. I don't want it to stick out too much because it is a round bouquet. Now, if you feel like, oh, I don't like it like that, all, you know, triangular and such, you could uh, cut these in little circles before you make them. Or once you have them made like so, what you do is just take your scissors and then just trim off these little pointed edges so that you have more of a rounded tool. Since I've already done that with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the other ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and place this at a point where I feel it's high enough, but not too high. And there we go. The pearls will stick out, that's okay. So now what we wanna do is we wanna tape this to our floral stem. And I'm not gonna tape it all the way down. I'm just gonna tape it enough to where I'm grabbing all that this piece right here and I can always trim it if it's too much I'm gonna go down about let's see about five inches let's make sure that's what I'm doing mm -hmm. yeah okay that's good enough I think I went you know four or five inches down and that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my tape there and there you can see where I've wrapped it here's the little tool and pearl spray that I made. Now I put it on the flower, so now I've got a floral spray. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and do that to all my roses and put these um, tool bits in there, but of course I'm gonna go ahead and trim them all so that they all be the same. And then I'll be back with that. All right, so I've got my rose sprays already prepared with their little pearls and their tool. So now I want to uh, prepare the ranunculus and I'm gonna go ahead and use these beautiful little bows that I created and I'm gonna put them right next to it and then I can just fold these little rhinestones down over the ranunculus to kind of give them a little bit of sparkle as you can see right there that looks really pretty against that so that's where I've what I've done is I've taken the spray right under here and then bent this around over the flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then do the same for these other two, and uh, I am gonna have two um, extra left over, so we'll see what we'll do with those. But for now, let's go ahead and just tape these up. All right, so here are my completed ranunculus sprays, and you can see the little rhinestones coming over, the little bow on the side, there we go. So those are ready and I'm gonna go ahead and put those to the side as well because now I can go ahead and start deciding if I wanna put some greenery in the middle. But uh, let's see, yes, I do. I have uh, these bits here, right here. I thought they were really pretty. I love the, the leaf, I like the color of it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I'm gonna put them over on the other side of each of these ranunculus sprays and I'm gonna go ahead and tape them as well. And then what I'll do, um, is if one is longer than the other, then I will trim. But I'll wait till the very end if I have to do any trimming of any lengths of any stamps. So I'm just gonna tape it just a bit down from about right here to here, which is about two inches. I'm just gonna wrap that up. I'm not gonna worry about this part because I do want some of the stems at the very bottom to show on my bouquet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape that. Cover up the other tape and then come back up after I put that on there and just cut okay there we go now I've got this beautiful completed spray 
All right, so now I'm gonna do that to these other two, and I'll be back again. All right, so I'm back, but I have not finished uh, the third one here. I said I was gonna finish them all and then be back, but I realized something uh, when I make the first one, and I felt like the leaf stem was up too high, and I really don't want it like just sticking out. I just want it in there as sort of a filler in my bouquet because it's a nice round bouquet. I didn't want it to look uh, you know, like too much was sticking out of it. I wanted the little rhinestones and the little pearls that I'm putting on the other flowers to be what sticks out. Okay, so what I did is I moved the, I moved it down, and now the end, ends here, the bottoms are even. So I did the same uh, to this second one. So that's what I'm going to do to this third one. I'm just going to even them up so that they're together. So now I don't have to worry about uh, trimming at this point. So I'll just uh, go ahead and tape that up. Okay, so now I've got my hydrangea flowers. Now, um, I don't have to use all of these three flowers. I could have chosen something much smaller. Uh, so what I am deciding that instead of using this, the three stems of hydrangea that I picked out, I'm only gonna be using one because I feel like I only want to use the little flowers, but I don't want them to be this big, Bundle. Now, it would look beautiful, of course, if I used the hydrangea and it showed as it is, but I feel like my 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 bouquet, I keep wanting to say corsage. By the way, this is the same way that you would create a corsage. You would just trim this right here, and there you go. You've got a corsage that you could just pin on. Okay, I don't think you can see that, but anyway. Uh, yes, the hydrangea would be beautiful if I use it in my arrangement, but here's two things that I can do. I can trim off some of the little petals. Let's trim off the bottom row so that I end up having a smaller hydrangea. I can have this instead, okay? So now that would be okay to use within my bouquet and I think that would be small enough, but I don't wanna destroy all of these um, three stems to create this one here and then have a bunch of little pieces like that. So instead I'm gonna be using one of these flowers to cut off all the little pieces and I'll save uh, these hydrangeas for another bouquet, along with the ones that were left over before anyway. And then of course my leaf, I can save that as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these off. So now what I want to do is I wanna create some little floral sprays with these. So of course I'm gonna need some wire. And I'm gonna take these uh, greenery pieces right here. And I've got three of them so that I can create, you know, three or so of these uh, hydrangea bits. And what I can do is um, place it up kind of high on here, like so, and then tape it right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my wire cutters and cut, let me show you, right. Do you see this? Do you see this uh, joint right here? I'm gonna cut right above right above this little branch here, okay? I cut right there. So I have one little stem here and I have another little stem right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my stems, put my little hydrangea flower on it. Then I can take my wire, and where did I put my wire? <laughs> roll and I'm pulling out some wire here and I'm just gonna cut about uh, 10 inches maybe of wire but I'm not gonna grab it in the middle and then tie. I'm just gonna grab the end here. And just like I did the tulle, I'm gonna wrap it around my little stem and then just get that little end and wrap it around like so, okay? And then I can just flatten this up against here. I can use my needle nose pliers and just press on the wire to make sure that it's nice and tight right on the little stems. And then I can have that. Okay, so now I can create as many of these as I want. And then all I have to do now is grab some floral tape and do the same thing and wrap around to cover up all that wire. All right, so I've completed these little sprays and I've made, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I've made eight of them with the little leaves and the bits of hydrangea flower. And I think that looks really pretty. I 
I just remember when I was doing this, when I cut them apart and made them into little flowers, is that I was thinking, why didn't I get a small filler flower? And then I remember because I wanted something that was creamy, that would coordinate with these two flowers because I knew that I liked the roses and I knew that I liked the ranunculus, but I wanted something creamy to fill in into the flowers. And I saw the bush of, or the bundle of hydrangea, the little round bouquet that I showed you when it was all full. I saw that and I said, I like this color. And I remember telling my sister-in-law my mom, this is sort of the color that I'm looking for, kind of a, a creamy yellowy color you know kind of a golden I guess you would you could also say pale gold um, color that I wanted to use for this and then well anyway I thought well you know what I'm just gonna cut these little bits off and make little little sprays so after the fact now that I'm doing it because I did buy these flowers like a couple of weeks ago or a week ago I don't remember now but um, that's what I had chosen the, the hydrangea for so it turned out being used for my original plan. So there we go. I've got those ready. So now I've got all my flowers. I want to get my biggest one. And I think this one rose here seems to be the biggest one. And I want that for the center of my bouquet. So I'm going to put this camera up just a little bit more so you get a better perspective of what I'm doing so that you can see the whole thing in my hand. All right, here we go. I've got the first flower here. And like I said, I'm going to create a round bouquet. I've got these stems that are really long compared to the stems on the ranunculus. That's okay, I'll just trim them at the end. So I'm gonna take my center flower and uh, grab the other four that I have here. And I'm going to put them around my center flower. Grab them all at the same length. At the bottom, they're all matching. And then put them all these four around that one big one. Where is it? This one. This one in the middle. So here we go. I've got a bouquet right here. And then I can just bend these slightly outward. Slightly. This one as well. And then this one just a little bit. Just bend them out slightly. So now I've got some little spaces there where I can fill in. So that's where I can take these other sprays and bring them in. One right there. That looks beautiful. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and get this other one and put it over here. Oops, <laughs> I've lost my shape, sorry. Let me go ahead and reshape it because it's all moving on me here we go there we go here we go like so and then I can take this one and put it in there tuck it in there and there we go we've still got this whole thing going where I've got this one flower in the middle and then I've got these four roses on the outer and then I've got the three in there so I like that look and then I'll worry about filling in with these so I like that look so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these roses that are on the outside because I don't need them right now I'm gonna go ahead and tape things a little bit at a time so I do like this being the center so I'm gonna go ahead and start taping each of these ranunculus sprays to that one center flower and I'm gonna just bend it a little bit as well and just bring it up so that it's, you know, even with that, you can see. Okay, so now I'm just gonna tape this together just to where they stay together and don't won't move. All right, trim off that tape. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the other one on the other side. Kind of like in a triangle around that one center flower so i'll have a going like this i have the other flower right here okay so now let's take that one together okay sorry i keep bringing them close to me and uh, there you lose the what i'm doing so let me move the camera a little bit more towards me so that when I do hold it close to me, you still have this in view. Okay, so now the third one. Let me go ahead and fix it up a little bit and do some bending. Put it on 
this other side. Oops. Let's make sure our rose doesn't get hidden away. There we go. All right, there we go. That's good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and tape that stem. And really, they're all kind of uh, almost at the same length down here, these uh, ranunculus. Okay, so now let's tape that one. Now let's do some good, good taping. All the way, not all the way down, but all the way to where the other tape finishes and then come back up and make sure I've got plenty of tape on there. There we go. I'm gonna tape them, there they are. And then I can go ahead and uh, maneuver them again. Bring this one over a little bit. So make sure this one is in the middle. There we go. And then what you can do is you can also, because they're all on wire, you can twist the uh, ribbons in the direction that you would rather have them be. And um, I kind of like them where they're kind of off to the side of the flower. So I'm going to move this one this way. So they're not like necessarily directly hitting on the rows. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take these little sprays and fill in between the ranunculus. So I can put those right in here. Like that. And then tape it down, there's where it's at. Tape that down, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim the wire because it's a little too long. Just a little bit. And then again, wrap that up nice. And come back and trim that off okay so now I've got this little stem between these ranunculus so now what I want to do is I'm going to put one right here and then another one between these two right here okay so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be back once I've got those completed all right here you can see how I've already gone ahead and I've taped those little flowers in here and as you can see this is a pretty nice bouquet. It's really pretty. It's nice and small. This could be your pattern or your, yeah, your, the pattern that you could follow for a toss away bouquet. So if you have these extra flowers, which I do, I have an extra rose and I have some extra ranunculus, and of course I have extra hydrangea, I could create a toss away bouquet that the maid of honor can carry and then that could be tossed off into the singles pile. <laughs> The ladies singles pile, pile if you wanted to do that or just let it be the bouquet that your maid of honor holds in her hand but there you go it's just a small arrange, a little arrangement and as you saw if I was to maybe leave off the ranunculus and just leave the rose and maybe just some hydrangeas on there that could be some bouquets that your your bridesmaids can hold so they have something even smaller and not something too big but if you want to give all of your bridesmaid including your maid of honor something nice and full and here's something in a very nice uh, pattern here. I've got four flowers and then these little bits that I created, these little sprays that you cut off from one flower. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's go ahead and grab these other four roses and these little hydrangea bits. Now I wanna go ahead and add that to the side of uh, these flowers. So I've got four roses and so I'm gonna use uh, four of these and I had one left over and that's fine. We'll just put that off to the side we can use it in a little corsage or something later on so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna put it on there and I'm gonna tape it up and get them ready so then we can go ahead and put them onto that bouquet all right before I continue finishing these roses I wanted to give you a little tip sometimes you get a flower where you got a little droopy petal and it just won't stay up and you got to keep pushing it up and it just droops down uh, don't cut it off what you can do is add a little bit of hot glue to the inside of the petal like so and then just push it down so that it grabs onto the other petals and then it'll stay in place. All right, I finished uh, these uh, four flowers by adding these uh, little hydrangea bits to the side. So now I've got the separate spray. So what I'm gonna do here before I start adding these here, I wanted to show you the bottom of uh, the bouquet at the bottom of the stems. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these so that they're all the same length. So I'm just going by the shortest one 
and trimming them all. There you go. So I have a more even ed ends there. Okay, so now I um, can get rid of this little bit. I don't need that. Now we're going to go ahead and place these flowers to make a fuller bouquet for our bride around the outside. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to place one here, tape it down, and then I'm going to do the same with the other three and tape it down. What I'll do is I'll tape this one down and then I'll go to the opposite side and put one there. And then I'll go on this side and then go to the opposite side and put another one there. But I think you get the idea of what I'm doing as I'm creating uh, this bouquet. So let me go ahead and take that one and continue. Let's tape it down. Here's where you're going to be using a lot of tape. You want to make sure that everything is nice and secure so that it doesn't come apart so i've wrapped it downward and then came back up okay so now that i have that before i put on the next flower i'm going to go ahead and trim this stem now so that it's at the same length let's go on to the next flower opposite of this one that i just placed is right over on this side what i do is i just bend the the stem a little bit right there that's where I'm placing it get my tape tape it down pull and wrap and press okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and come back up I'm trying to use up all the tape on this roll here first. Okay, so now again, I'm going to trim. Okay, this is what I have so far. My center flower, three ranunculus, and in between I filled it in with a little hydrangea bits. And then I put some hydrangea bits on these bigger flowers. I've got one here, and I've got one on the opposite side. And now I want to put one on this side and one on the opposite side. So there we go. We're forming a nice round bouquet. Okay, so I've attached all of my flowers. This is my round of bouquet. I'm not finished with it because I do want to add some ribbon and some greenery, but as you can see, this could be a finished product. You wouldn't have to add any more to it. It's lovely and it's got a nice natural kind of a, I don't know, just a natural look to it. The colors of the flowers, are very subtle they're not too in your face of course you could pick whatever colors for your bridal you know your your theme your color that you choose for your your wedding and therefore then you can use do all your flowers but I feel like the bride's bouquet should be just a little bit different from everything else while everything is so matchy matchy maybe the bridal's bouquet can be something a little less uh, intense from the colors of course unless you're going to be going with red that's the one time that you do want to go with a nice intense bouquet for the bride okay so this is what it looks like underneath so far where I've taped everything together and here's where all the stems have been cut more or less about the same length so there you go now let's go ahead and add we've got a sprig or spray of ribbon and then we've got these two uh, bits of longer greenery that I told you at the beginning I was cutting and I separated the side. What I did to these is I went ahead and I put wire, just like I wired around those little pieces of tulle and everything else that I did. And then I just put some tape right there just to kind of keep that wire onto the stem, just to give it a little, some length here. I didn't tape it all the way down because I'm probably going to be trimming some of that wire. And I didn't really want to waste tape since I'm going to tape it up again. It's just one item. I don't need that much tape. Okay, so this, I'm going to tape them at the bottom of my, I'm going to curve them out, if you will, like, like so. And then this part I'm going to put up against the stem of my bouquet and tape that down. So I'm just going to get that like that, like so, and then tuck it in underneath just like that so it kind of sticks out at the bottom now I can tape it down right here and then I can trim whatever excess wire 
is still sticking out because I don't want that to show. Okay, let me go ahead and tape that down. Let's bring that up for now because it's kind of in the way where I'm taping. We can fold it down later or off to the side. Okay, I've got another one which I want to also put on there. Let me trim off the bottom of the wire here. Let me use this to make sure that this little end of the wire is not sticking out. I'm just pushing it, the end of the wire into the... So that's what I did is I added this piece right here. Can you see that? Right there. I'm going to do the other one on the other side now, this other piece, because I prepared two of them with wire. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to go and trim it now that I'm here. Let me push this one upward for now so it's out of my way. This one is also out of my way. It's pushed upward. I will bend it like I showed you before I attach the first one. I will bend it after because I want to show you two things you can do. I'm just putting more tape on here. That's all I'm doing for now. I want to show you two ways you can do that greenery on here. Okay, so now I've got these sprigs of greenery sticking out the sides and I really don't want that. So like I showed you in the beginning, you can fold them down and have them kind of dangling down where you could do two or three of them and have them dangling downward on your bouquet as it's being held like that. That looks really pretty. Or you could wrap them around, bend them around at the bottom of the bouquet, one in one direction, and then the other one going in the other, just to form like a little wreath underneath. See, I've bent this one this way, and this other one this way, and created like a little wreath of uh, leaf under the bouquet. You can do either one. It looks really pretty either way. I kind of like where it's kind of coming out the side, so I'm gonna do that, but before I, Continue with that. I am going to, oh, I got some little leaves here that fell out, so I gotta push those back in there. And if that happens, make sure you put a little dot of glue in there so it doesn't come back out again. So I've already, I've glued that in there. That little bit right here. Okay. All right, so now I've got my ribbon. And I've got my little butterfly. I've got my ribbon, and I'm going to do the same thing like I did my greenery. Now, if I wanted, I could make two of these, one on each side, but I'm only going to put one on one side. And I'm just going to push it up into my flowers, as close as I can to my flowers. And then I'm going to tape it just up to there, and then trim off the rest of the wire. Okay? I'll be back as I do that because I, this ribbon can flop all over the place and it makes a mess. So just uh, uh, just do it nice and slow. I'm going to do it quickly, so I'll be back. All right, so I've added this bow, this floppy bow with ribbons that are dangling downward from my bouquet. And I've only put some on this side because I want that to be kind of like the front of the bouquet where the bride will hold it in her hand and these ribbons will dangle forward in front of her hands where she's holding it like so. And if you wanted, you could add some more in the back. I'm not going to do that to this particular one. I just want to go ahead and finish it and just show you how beautiful this round bouquet looks already. Now, all I'm going to do is embellish and make it look beautiful because I do have some tape here that I don't want showing. Now, I could use some of the same ribbon that I have here and wrap around all of that or use a solid satin ribbon to cover that up. But I showed you this diamond wrap at the beginning and I told you then I would show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm not going to use very much of this. I'm actually just going to use a little piece because I'm going to use this to wrap around my bouquet. So I'm going to go ahead and measure right now about how much I need and I can see how much I need but I'm going to cut just a little bit extra just to be sure and just cut off between the little faux rhinestones. There we go that over to the side so now I have a little piece like that nice and sparkly 
and that I'm going to glue to my stem like so. So I have a nice pretty stem, but I do want some of the stem, the flower stems to show at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it. I think I'm going to trim it about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven rows. I'm going to trim it about six or seven rows. So let's see. I think I chose, let's go with, I, I can't keep counting. My eyes keep going, oh, okay. Because <laughs> of the little reflections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I went up seven rows and I'm going to trim that off. And I can save this little bit of uh, wrap for something else. It's definitely useful for something else. Isn't that pretty? Look, maybe I'll even make myself a ring. What do you think of that? Wow. Okay. Let's put that aside before I get carried away with that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this on here. I want to make sure that the f this is the front. So I don't want the, this to wrap around and then have the seam up at the front. So I'm going to make sure that this is right up here. So I'm going to put some glue. Make a line of glue going down just a bit to make sure I attach this on here first. Like so. There we go. Careful. Don't press too much into it because then you'll make the glue you know, uh, kind of ooze through to the front of the diamond wrap and you're going to see that nasty glue there. Okay, so now what we want to do is just bring it around to the back. So let me turn it around so you can see all the, oh, these little glue webs everywhere. And I want to glue this down. So I'm going to put some glue right here and then put that down on there. How can you see it best? Like so? Just... Okay, let's get these ends. I'm going to put glue on the back of the little wrap here. Oops, and I got a big old glob of glue on my stems. So I'll take that off in a minute. And let that dry. So then I can remove that. Alright, so I'm back and I had dropped some uh, glue on here. Not dropped it, but it was on this edge of my glue gun and it just got smeared onto there as I was coming through here and I got lots of glue on one of the stems so I waited till it dried a bit before I decided to pull it off and I have and I pulled off as much as I can but in a way it was kind of like a little blessing in disguise because <laughs> there was this little tag that said made in China on one of the stamps and I didn't see it because it was kind of on the inside but well you know you don't want that to be in there so now I'm just going to twist it around push it back down against the other ones and I'm going to put a little bit of a glue on the way on the inside one in there just a couple of little 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 bit there, little drops. And move my ribbon. I'm getting it too close to my glue gun. And then just press those down. Your stems. Keep them together. Because when I was doing all that pulling, I kind of bent them out of shape. So now I'm just going to hold them and let that dry. And if you wanted to do that to all your other little bits, you can go ahead and do that as well. To the you know like over on this side. All right, now that all that has dried, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this wrap around nice and tight around and just glue it down like so, so that it is wrapped around completely. So let's put some glue on this top here. And then just wrap this down. Gently press on it. There. I've got a nice elegant cover on my bouquet and it kind of like reflects off the little rhinestone things, little sprays that I have up here on the ranunculus and I want to make sure those are showing. So just move your leaves around and make sure those are well visible on top of your flowers. Yep, they are. Okay, so I also have this um, butterfly that I wanted to include in there. And it's got some wire, which I can go ahead and um, could have wired onto one of the flowers uh, before I actually put that on here. But I want to put, um, I'm just going to trim that off and just hot glue it up on the top here somewhere. I want to put a little rhinestone right there because let me show you my little butterfly up close. Where they glued all, that, all those little bits in the center. I feel like there should have been something there and it's just missing or they just didn't put it on. But there should be some sort of a little rhinestone 
covering all of that up. So I'm going to dig through my rhinestone box, see what I can find uh, to put on that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I just wanted to show you the bouquet one more time as it is because I am going to embellish it a little bit more. But as you can see, this is a completed bouquet right here. No need to put anything more on it. But it's just a little bit of a trend to bling out everything. And I've gone ahead and I've blinged out my butterfly. And I'm just going to trim off all this wire because I'm not going to need it. I'm going to add just a little drop of glue onto my butterfly. And then I'm just going to take my bouquet. This is the front of my bouquet over here, as I had said. And I'm just going to go ahead and just let it get glued down onto this little hydrangea flower right here. Little little bit here, right there. You could put it a little bit higher, somewhere in the center, wherever you want. But that's where I'm going to go ahead and put that baby. Okay, so I've got five roses. And as you know, I put these little rhinestone sprays over my ranunculus. I had more, but I only end up, ended up using three of them. Uh, but I also have um, these uh, pins that I showed you in the beginning, which I'm going to pin into my roses, but I'm going to just kind of just gently bend the pin part downward, just like that. And then I'm just going to poke them into my roses here. There we go. Just like that. Look how beautiful that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to every one of my flowers. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've put those pins on each one of my roses, and I want you to see that. It is a good thing that I do. you do struggle some to put them in because that means uh, they will stay in there. They'll be nice and tight. It's not like it's something that's just going to pop out. But if you feel uncomfortable about it, you can put a little bit of glue and just go ahead and glue them onto your flowers just to make sure they don't pop out. I don't know if I'll be selling this bouquet or keeping it as a display and then maybe wanting to use these for something else. So I'm not going to glue them down for now, but a little bit of E6000 or some Gorilla Glue, a little super glue to get them on there because, uh, uh, you know, it's metal and really the, the hot glue, the regular hot glue is not going to help with that. So just letting you know. All right, so here we go. That is a finished floral round bridal bouquet. Here's some nice, beautiful ribbons dangling off the bottom along with this greenery. And then the beautiful rhinestone wrap at the handle where you can grab it. But it'll look beautiful when it's placed on the table. And everyone can see the beautiful rhinestone that's wrapping up all those stems. And I just wanted you to see that. So what do you think? There's the little butterfly resting on the bouquet as well. All right. So I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you give me a big old thumbs up. I hope that you will also stay uh, aware that I am going to be doing another bouquet for you for next Tuesday. I'm going to be creating a swag bridal bouquet. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, and I'm going to be using some beautiful flowers that I will show you then. It's a big surprise. I think it's going to be beautiful. But here you go. This is the finished product. Like I said, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think of my beautiful bouquet. There we go. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.